Hi, I'm Stephen Hamm from Archery Supplies. Today we're at Adelaide Archery Club at the AJADS event. So they hold this every Saturday morning. They start at 8.30 with a warm-up. All these kids, there's 50-odd kids. So they're going to shoot five ends practice, and then they have a break and get, get awards, and then they go out and score. They shoot six, six ends, five ends, um, and then they move. So they start off at 15 metres and then go to 20 metres. I think there's some more at 30 metres. So we're going to go and meet the people, meet the organisers. This is the biggest junior program, I'm going to say probably in Australia. Definitely the biggest in the state. Um, I'm going to say of the juniors in the state, and when I say juniors, the junior team, most will come from this club. So there are kids from other clubs, obviously, but most will be from this one club because the program is so good. There's so many volunteers down here helping all the kids. Parents are allowed to shoot if there's space on the line, um, but it's short, quick, so we'll take you through. So hopefully there's something you can take for your own club. Okay, so these three kids, once just finished, they did a beginner's course two weeks ago, so they're only two weeks in. And their technique is really, really good. So they've got really good hand position, really good follow through. Watch her follow through. See, so like, two, just a beginner's course, two weeks. I, I, you could argue I don't shoot this well. And it's like really incredible. Two weeks, this is just club gear. Um, we're going to give a chocolate to whoever gets the most arrows in the goal. Um, but um, very, very impressive. Hi, I'm with Andy. We shot together when we were kids, back in the 1980s. Andy runs the Adelaide Archery Club Junior Program. Junior Program. So Andy, can you explain how this works? Because I find it amazing. So we took over, I took over running this about three years ago. We started off with about 29 kids. In three years, we've built it up to about 65 kids every weekend, every Saturday morning. So as you can see uh, behind me, we've got all the kids there now scoring. Um, what we've done is I've tried to make it as close to national competition as we can. So we have timing gear, we have um, everything, shooting lines, we have everyone stand back five metres from the line, everything like that. All the rounds are basically Australian rounds, which we've cut down. Um, so we've got our Newcastles, our Darwins, Melbournes, we've cut it down to be 36 arrows. Um, we found the other one was just too much for the kids, so we cut it all down and we have club records and everything like that. So basically, instead of having big rounds, which is what most clubs will have, 90 arrows, they're only shooting 36. Correct. The benefit of doing this with the uh, national rounds is if they decide to go on to uh, senior shoot, all the rounds are going to be identical, so they know what the name of the round is and what distance they shoot. So that's why we've designed it like that. So with this setup, the kids are going to do a beginners course first before coming here. Correct. So we do a three-week beginners course, which we uh, run on Saturday mornings. We do four a year, one every term. Uh, we get 16 kids from that, and from that we get a nutrition rate of about 12. So a beginners course. What does that cost at Adelaide to do? It's about $135. We give you a finger tab with that, so you get to keep that. Um, you come down every Saturday morning for three weeks in a row. Once you pass that, you get a certificate which is valid around the entire Australia in recognised AA clubs. And for kids coming down here to shoot, 
what does it cost every Saturday morning for them to shoot? So once you're a member of Adelaide Archery, uh, you come down, if you've got your own equipment, there's no cost. It's all included in the fees, which is why we're sort of generating so much. Um, so we're, it's about $200 for a kid? Yeah, three, a uh, yeah, about 236 at the moment. Now in South Australia, I don't know if it's in Australia, they get that money back from the government. Correct. This so, year we only do a hundred dollar sports voucher, so that government will actually pay you a hundred dollars back. Next year they're upping it to two hundred. So for two hundred and thirty-six dollars, it actually costs you for twelve months thirty-six dollars for a junior, which is another reason why we're getting so many kids out. Now with so some kids are using higher gear or the club's gear. Does that cost them to use club's gear? Correct. So if you're a club member, it's only eight dollars. If you're not a club member, then we incorporate the higher gear in with the visitor's fees and that brings it up to $16. So at what stage do the kids have to, because basically from here, from this part upwards, most of the kids have got their own gear. At what stage do the kids get their own gear? Normally we uh, often say during the beginners course, don't get any gear for the first three months. During the first three months, which is the basically a term, because we run the beginners course at the start of the term, by the end of the term, you will know if you want to continue with archery. If you do, then that way you can go see Steve at an archery shop, speak to one of the coaches and get um, guaranteed advice on what to get. We don't recommend going to uh, some of these other stores because they're not, um, uh, what's the word? I'm they, don't, they don't set up yeah, the gear. Yeah, they don't set up the gear and they're, they're not approved for club purposes. So you really, if you want to shoot here and you want gear, you need to go to an approved archery shop to get your gears for shooting here. So, so here we've got lots of, you give away lots of awards. That's correct. So what happens is they shoot, uh, we've got prescribed scores they need to achieve each week. Once you've achieved that prescribed score twice. So what's the score? It varies on each distance. So for 15 metres? Uh, it's 36 hits with no misses. Okay. Then you go back and you only have to do that once. Then we put you back onto 20 metres. We try to get them back to 20 because that's the minimum that Australia shoots. Yep. So if they come out to an afternoon shoot or a club round, 20 metres is what they're going to shoot. So we try to get them back there. So then 20 metres, what, what they score shoot, do they need? They need 257 for a recurve twice. 257 out of 360. Correct. And that's on a big 122 centimetre face. That's so correct. And then once they've done that, they'll go back to 25 or 30 metres. And then 30 metres, obviously, the score drops down. So basically, you're keeping the arrows inside the eight ring. Eight ring. Eight ring. So you want to average an eight, and then you go back to the next distance. That now, when correct. you get that score, you get an award. You get a certificate. Yep. And then that enables you to go through. When they sign in on the digital score, uh, digital sign in that also comes up and tells them what their maximum distance is wow. so as they pass we then uh, update that and then they'll see that oh, I can only so shoot maximum is that 30. done via the club or is it done via our tree no spray? that's that's a specific sign in sheet that we've des designed and okay. we run specifically for age ads and it's got all birth dates in so when uh, every week we do birthdays so because you have to have your date of birth in there and we, we sing happy birthday to all the kids as well, and they love it. And generally now they're finding out that, oh, my birthday's coming out, I'm not going to the club. So now they're starting to stay away. And you gave away, so in the break, so they have five ends of practice, they have a break, Andy gives some jokes. I've so stopped. Some jokes. <laughs> and then you gave away some McDonald's vouchers. Yes, it's a little thing I've set up with our local McDonald's here where it's an encouragement award. Uh, everyone will eventually receive one. Um, and each week I just pick out six names and we uh, give out six of those each week. But you also have awards for like most improved or something? You Correct. Have other awards. Every term we do Archer of the uh, term. So we do two key rings and they're really hard to achieve. Um, but that's all done by the coaches. I've got a, a plethora of coaches out here who are national judges as well, which works in really well and they've got a lot of knowledge in their head. Um, I do grade certificates. Um, classification civics so you read gold medals they get all those they get six gold medals from Archery Australia as well and your perfect 60s as well they get all those as well. so you're getting if you get all six arrows in the gold you get a little medal that's correct then you, if you get certain scores there's other medals but then you give away like do you have competitions for the kids as well we run three competitions a year so right. we do a wand and windage where you're shooting at a, a piece of gaffer tape which is uh, about two inches wide um, wand is straight down and we turn it sideways and go win so that's that one then we have a Gordon Pawson challenge and also our Robin Hood challenge 
So we do the, run them three times a year. At the end of the year, we do a big awards pro presentation. We get trophies and all the medals to give away to them. So the Gordon Pawson one, what's what's that? So the Gordon Pawson challenge is uh, Gordon Pawson used to be at our club. He's now passed away. Um, so we run it in honour of him. I shot with him when I was a junior. So yeah, he was a he was a state recurve coach when Correct. I was a kid. So, Correct. Yeah. So the Gordon Pawson is basically a North Adelaide or uh, a metric North Adelaide. So they shoot three distances and they shoot uh, three ends at each distance to give us a total of the six ends. Yeah. So and that's run each, each year. And, each... and then you give away a prize to each like highest overall. Is it age groups or? It's it all in age curve? groups. So you got your under 14s, under 16, under 18s, uh, and then under 21. Okay. So and all those, uh, no one knows who actually won that because we keep that to the end of the year and we do all three events at the end of the year. So what age do you have to be to shoot here? So nine is officially the sign up age. Okay. Um, if you're near nine, we do a bow check. Uh, we've got someone out there at the moment doing a bow check to make sure that they can actually reach the target. If that's all good, they can then sign up for the course. But generally nine, you can just go online at Adelaide Archery Club and just sign up for a beginner's course. We're booked out usually six months in advance. That's very good. So, now the other thing Adelaide does, which is impressive, which I think is your idea, you can tell me if it isn't, kids from this club, from this program, get free entry to state. That's correct. State events. What we do is we recycle our bottles and cans every week. Um, we keep all that. Money goes into a, a pool. Once it goes into the pool, any junior that enters into one of the state four competitions, being clout, field, target or indoor they get their um, entry fee reimbursed so we actually give it back to them so they get free entry now backing on this about three years ago we only had about i'd say four or five juniors entering in state competitions since i've been running this initiative uh, we got 13 juniors in the last state target championships all from this club take out medals in placings in the state championship there was substantially more juniors shooting state events since Adelaide and Andy has put in this program. Correct. Like, kids are more likely to come out, we're getting more... I mean, back when I, when I came to this state, we were struggling to have kids go to a national championship. There was like literally one or two, and now we can fill a team. And we fill a strong team, which is Australian, or I'm gonna say Australian standard, as good as any other state in Australia as far as compound and recurve, which is a complete credit in three years to turn it all around. Correct. It's and as you can't actually see it, but over there in the uh, club rooms now, we've got all the parents of all the juniors here. They're having a meeting with uh, Graham Winston, who's running through what it takes to get into the TT, which is the Trans-Tasman. So next year, we're sending a team over to New Zealand. Uh, it's all juniors only, and they shoot against New Zealand versus Australia in the Trans Tasman. So we usually have a big field of Adelaide uh, enter into that as well. Now I'm going to say joining archery from my perspective, as opposed to another sport, the thing I like about this is anyone can do it, and it's your own time. So you don't have to be athletic. Um, nah, definitely not kids, athletic. Kids come down here. They're not getting injured, it's, they're having a good time. Um, and sometimes the parents shoot. The benefit of the way we run our club is once a junior's done their course and a parent can actually do the course with the junior, once they've finished, the parent is able to stand on the same target, same shooting line with the junior and shoot away. And you'll see a lot of parents out there, if you get the camera on them, you'll see it later yeah. anyway. But parents shoot with their kids and that is a great way to bring that family together as well doing something together. Thank you. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, you very much. a great job. I, I cannot stress enough, and I feel like I'm sucking up, and I'm absolutely not. The amount of effort, the amount of energy Andy puts in to underestimate it, and I, you've been, lots of people have said he does a great job, but literally it's one of the best jobs I've seen done, and there's lots of volunteers out here helping. It's fantastic. It really is. If you've got more people without Andy, this doesn't happen. Kids don't get developed. This is the grassroots to get people in the sport. So if you're thinking about your own club, you need people like Andy to do it to get all this happening because otherwise it just doesn't happen. Volunteers and yeah. people putting in your own time. Andy does 
posts on social media. Um, he does regular posts telling pet kids when, when they're going to shoot, what they're going to shoot, target layouts. I don't know how much time you put in a week. Uh, if you ask my wife, she'd probably say too much. <laughs> but uh, I'd, I reckon I'd be up around about 20 or 30 hours at home. A week. A week, just going through certificates, updating rec club records for juniors. So it's not just that Andy's just down here on a Saturday morning, it's during the week, and it's it's a big commitment. Anyway, so, so thank you. Yeah, that's well, right. I appreciate it. Not promoting myself too much, but we do have a couple of kids that actually come out on Saturday morning, and they drive at least an hour to get here every Saturday morning from, oh. from the country, because the programs that are run, they just want to get something in where they can get more into a state level, so they spend an hour driving here every morning. Oh, I think like the kids, like you're with other kids shooting, it encourages you, and there's all different levels here from mm. beginners, which is where we started from, right up to Australian level kids in yep. your machine line. So you can see the progression, you're surrounded by people doing the light thing that you're doing, and the kids are all having fun. You see them smiling, it's it's a very good environment. Correct, and it's very regimented, and I think the kids like it because they know the systems and they understand the systems. Yeah. And having that in place, everything works like clockwork. So, thank you, Andy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. So I'm being overshadowed by Oscar, so Oscar's 16 years old, so he's part of the Age Ads program here for like two years. Um, so you've got your own gear, have you changed any of the gear that you've been shooting or you've been shooting the same gear for two years? Oh, well, I've been shooting with everything, like this is all the same except this string, which I've been made by Andy, my coach, and yep. same goes for the arrows. So what poundage bow are you shooting here? Poundage bow, I'd say 27 pounds. 27? So, Oscar, two years, so from, you started off down there and now you're at the distance here? Uh, this is 30, but my maximum distance is 60. Okay. So, gone just age at, so competitions, Oscar was telling me he shot one competition so far. Yeah, just one the Tyro. So Tyro tournament, which I shot as a kid, um, is a tournament for people who've been shooting for under two years, you can correct me if I'm wrong, under two years who haven't won an event. So why haven't you shot in other events? To be honest, I'm just being a little bit lazy about that, I guess. I quite like just coming here and socialising, shooting everyone. Although, um, recently, partially because of the reason I shot the tire, is I was doing this task for school called yeah. EIF, and I figured it was well, for EIF, you have to like pick something that you're interested in yeah. and like develop your skills. So I did archery and I thought against competition to extra training. Yeah. So I've been rocking up on Sundays in the morning Very and good. Uh, shooting, the, well, paying a bit more attention to how I shoot on Saturdays too, I guess, yeah, yeah. just to improve my overall skill. Yeah, very good. So basically, you've just been like, I enjoy coming down here. Do you shoot with the same people every week or uh, Usually same people, but it just depends who shows up, who doesn't, I guess. Yeah. Very good. So do you think that eventually you'll shoot some competitions in the coming year, like state indoor, 18 yeah. meters? I'll definitely, definitely like, get into some competitions. Yeah. Although I think I need to be a bit more aware about when they are. <laughs> right, that's interesting. So part of the reason why you haven't done it is like, you're just in a routine of coming down here as opposed to shooting in the tournament. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Well, thank you, Oscar. Best of luck today. Oh, thank you. Anyway, thank you. Watch us shoot. Thank you. Uh, thank you. So we're not going to give it. So just keep, keep going through your six hour routine. You'll probably enter next year. Um, the other thing is, as well is, uh, I'll show you 
Eric is here. Erica is one of the best juniors in the state. She's just won, um, just won some like national things and some state things. I'm not embarrassing her, but yeah, I'm just. This is her shooting here. There's a ten. Um, Erica's. I'm gonna say fourteen. Is that correct? So fourteen years old. So just come here, Erica. <laughs> um, so 14 years old and you finished with a 10, you've started shooting some tournaments, now you're shooting against a girl from Cressy, her name is, escapes me, you shot a couple of competitions with her, the other under 14 recurve, uh, Gracie. Gracie, right, so are you good friends with Gay Gracie because you've shot with her a few times? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it's great that you get to shoot, like one of the things which is good about the sport, Erica shoots at Adelaide and she's just been encouraged to shoot some tournaments. Is that fair? You've been pushed to shoot some tournaments. Is that fair? I took this like archer like seriously at the start of this year. Yep. And now you've, she's actually met another girl who's shooting really well from from Cressy, which is another club. She shoots by herself because there's no other juniors at that club. So they come up against each other in tournaments. I really like to see that in tournaments because they're both there, they compete, and they've got someone else to gauge themselves with. But I'm really, it's great to see you shoot tournaments. It's great to see you coming along. How much are you shooting? Are you shooting just once a week at the club now, or are you shooting at home as well? Um, no, I come out twice. I try to come out twice a week, like on the weekdays, and then I shoot like on Saturday. So Very good. Three times a week. Very good. Thank you. Yeah. Tough. A young savvy, which you see here, he went away to the nationals with us, with the junior team. Uh, he had massive target panic, and it was really hard for him to shoot. And I felt for him because he was having struggle. He was struggling to aim on the target, so he was missing arrows. It was heartbreaking for me. You watch him shoot now, and it's completely amazing. Like, every record should be available to him now. To overcome target panic, I cannot stress enough how hard it is to overcome it. And you have a look at his form, his technique. He looks really, really good. And I sort of said to him, it's like, it's so common for kids to give up or adults to give up when they have target panic. To overcome it, it's so hard. And when you see someone overcome it and come out of it really strong, it's really, really good. Um, so full credit to him, and I don't know how proud his dad is, but he's shooting so, so well. Like he's nah, shooting I'm so ready. well. It's like for a kid to overcome an obstacle, which is generally in, in your head, but it's it's very hard, and it's a full credit to him. It's yeah. Like, it's one of the things that's really good in archery to overcome obstacles, climb over and to know you can overcome things. It's a huge thing to understand and to learn. So, yeah, thumbs up. Thank you. 